our top story tonight at 6. As more restaurants and businesses move into downtown Macon, residents are doing the same. Newtown Macon says they can't build loft apartments fast enough to keep up with the demand. 41 NBC's Tanya Berzitsky has more on the economic impact. Most people say the American dream is a house with a white picket fence. But to Christelle Parham, downtown Macon is the place she calls home. It is home. I love it. I, I feel like I should have been moving here a long time ago. Like I was missing out. Parham and her husband moved downtown this summer from North Macon. And because she works downtown, she says it just made sense to move. It was very convenient because most of our work meetings are walking distance. So it actually helped. So I barely use my car. Josh Rogers with Newtown Macon says millennials like Parham take up 70% of the loft apartments. But that's changing. The fastest growing demographic downtown is retirees, baby boomers, um, and want to be in the middle. They want the same amenities that everybody else wants, which is the ability to walk, to eat, and drink. Roger says the demand to live downtown is, well, through the roof. In 2011, we did a market study and said we could fill 200 units of lofts a year, and that year 11 got built. Uh, last year, we built 89. So we're just not building them fast enough. Which means rent goes up too. If demand is more than supply, then prices go up. So you see our occupancy is really high and the unit costs are really expensive because there just aren't enough out there. Well, Roger says adding more storefronts is the best strategy to adding more lofts.